Uh, we seem to have a major problem with uh, breaking contracts with big multinational firms, but when it comes to uh, if you're a student nurse and uh, you've been promised that you'll get paid in your fourth year, there doesn't seem to be any problem with breaking promises. Now, on the department's uh, website in advance of the election, I noticed that uh, it was described that we had amongst the most attractive, uh, um, well, basically, giveaway in the world. Uh, for many uh, states, basically, uh, there is, well, basically, uh, uh, for many fines the state take, it will make no more than 25% of corporation check, uh, tax charged on profits after allowances have been made. Now, any two-bit accountant would be able to move the money around in such a way that they never had to pay any profits on it. And for very large fines, it only goes up to 40%. Now, this compares very unfavourably with other parts of the planet. Now, they don't have to be necessarily left-wing or right-wing. It seems that we just got a bad deal full stop, no matter what way you look at it. In North America, the minimum government stake, according to a report prepared by the former Minister, or Minister Lenehan, it was 42% and can rise up to 60%. South American governments get between 25 and 90%. The take in sub-Saharan in uh, Africa it ranges from 44 to 85 percent, yet for some reason uh, we seem to uh, well settle for less as usual. Um, on uh, the very favourable licence in terms that have been defended in the past on the basis that we still need to prove the potential of Irish waters to yields uh, of sizeable oil and gas fines. Um, it might have been a valid argument uh, before, all right, but I mean, when you have everything given away, what's the point in chase changing the rules after you have everything given away? It appears to me that we're going to get nothing out of this. I can't see why other countries managed to get something out of it, but then again, all you have to do is look back back at the name of Ray Burke and see who's connected to this. And I don't think you need to be a genius or an expert on uh, political history in this country to see that, uh, well, I certainly wouldn't get him to sell my car and expect to get the full value back of what he got for it.